Alright, back again with a crazy ramen review. I've got a million of these coming because there's so many damn flavors. So this one is a seafood flavor. It's like some sort of spicy, I think it's Korean inspired. I'm not entirely sure, but it's a sweet spicy style. Probably going to be fairly hot. Uh, it's supposed to have like octopus or squid flavor. Um, I, for, I think I looked at the back of the package. Let me check. Uh, it's got some sort of octopus or squid in it. Let's see. It actually doesn't say. I thought it did. I mean, there's an octopus on the cover, but I don't know if that's just a mascot or what. Oh well, yeah, it just, it doesn't really say in the ingredients, but we're going to eat it anyways. I actually put some fish in there. Uh, I think it was tilapia, frozen tilapia. So, I will eat that. Oh, it fell over. Doesn't want to stay. I have a feeling it'll be pretty spicy because it had the same scent as some of those real spicy noodles that I've cooked. Mmm. Damn. It's actually really good. It's also really spicy. <clears throat> the heat is pretty close to some of those ones I've done, like the 2x spicy. I would say it's one step down from that, but it's very, very close. And it's actually a little sweeter than those noodles were, which surprises me because I would picture seafood being more of a savory sauce, but this is actually pretty sweet. Mm. Yeah, this is, it's like a sweet, almost, it, it's not tomatoey, but it has a tone that reminds me of like a, a tomato soup or like a savory tomato flavor. I think it's something else giving it that tone, but there's definitely kind of like, it's like if you made tomato soup extremely spicy. I like it. It's actually pretty unique. Um, I guess overall it's not too different from the Sanyang ones that are spicy, but it is slightly more unique. Uh, this goes good with fish for sure already got a few bites of fish and it, it pairs with it pretty good. The only things I added to the sauce that weren't already there besides like veggies and fish was uh, garlic paste and cilantro paste and I'm sure the cilantro has added a little bit of a fresh flavor but overall I didn't add too much so this sauce is pretty good just the way it comes the package recommends adding garlic red onion and a couple of other things it says um, for better taste add green <coughs> green onion oh I can't hardly talk it's so hot <coughs> sorry for better taste add green onion uh, regular onion, red pepper, garlic, and sesame oil. I actually did add green onions or scallions. I forgot about that. So that's probably maybe added a little bit of a more oniony flavor. But yeah, it's it's good. Mmm. I don't know. I really something about this sauce with the fish. I really like. That last one I did was a seafood one too, and for some reason that one was extremely good. It had like a lime flavor. If you watch the review on the uh, prawn or shrimp sauce one that I did. But yeah, this is actually really good. Another winner. All of these are pretty good, honestly, but that's if you like spicy stuff. You probably won't like this if you don't like extremely spicy stuff.
But I will say this one's got, um, it's pretty sweet too, so it's not like you're just eating pure spice. And it also, honestly, it's got a little bit of a savory flavor too. So this is one of those where it's got a good balance of sweet, spicy, and savory. It's definitely more on the sweet side. But there, there is a hint of savoriness that makes it taste like deeper than just like a pure sugary sauce. So it has some depth to it. Oh, but yeah, that's basically it. I don't want to talk too long. I tend to ramble on these reviews. But I would say I recommend it. It's good.